OpenSea's beginner guide. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you about OpenSea's and everything about it and how you can use it to create, sell or buy NFTs. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, this is the website as you can see over here, OpenSea's.io. Now once we're over here, all you have to do is just simply connect your cryptocurrency wallet and doing so will also create a account for you. So to connect your cryptocurrency wallet at the top right corner and click on your wallet and you will see you have a couple of different options so you have wallet connect you have metamask wallet you have coinbase wallet formatic and if you don't like some of these click on show more options and you will have more options available to you now let's go ahead and choose our wallet i'm gonna choose metamask for now i'm gonna click on metamask it's gonna open up this pop-up right here as you can see over here and just simply enter in your metamask password but for you it will be different if you haven't you know installed metamask on your cryptocurrency browser it'll take you to its website it'll take you to this website over here where you can just simply go ahead and sign up now as you can see for the me it's a little bit different for you it'll be different as well so i'm going to go ahead and click on sign up and over here just simply enter in your email address and click on get the latest information and click on subscribe and there you basically go there you have it you have created an account on metamask after that you can just go ahead and head back to your you know open seas account and just enter in your password and once you have done that there you go you have your metamask wallet signed in Let's go ahead and click on the wallet and it should connect. I don't understand why it's not connecting. Uh, okay, maybe it's because I let me just close it up and go back to over here and, you know, just use the standard website so over here. Let me just go ahead and try it one more time. As you can see, I've signed in already. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Now that I've signed it, I can go ahead and create my NFT. So to create an NFT, you can click on create over here or create, click on create over here. So I'm going to click on create. And over here, we will are creating a new item, a new NFT. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this image over here. This is basically a chicken that I created way, way back. So I'm going to go ahead and name it Gray Chick. Once you have named it, you can go ahead and enter in a, you can go ahead and enter in a link to your website or, you know, to your Instagram account or your Twitter account or any other website, basically showcasing your previous work on nfts so that the buyer will know that this is a professional creator and i can expect more decent work from him and it'll basically help them to gain a little bit of your trust as well so definitely make sure to enter in the website and after that you can go ahead and add it in a description basically you know add in like the features of the nft the main color and how you created it and what it is and stuff like that for me i'm just gonna write it's a chicken if no one knew it's a chicken you know what i mean the image is pretty blurry but you know it could also be a duck but it's a chicken after that you can go ahead and select the collection of it as well if you have created one i haven't created one and then you have properties so in properties you can add like special characteristics of your nfts so for example if you're uploading a collection of let's say 10,000 nfts which is quite a lot of collection and within that you are going to be uploading some rarer nfts now those rare nfts can be anything they can have like special characteristics like you know having a different background having different accessories or maybe like a totally different nft character as well so you can go ahead and add that over here but for me i'm just simply uploading just a single nft so i'm not going to go ahead and add any characteristics but i'm just telling you about it and after that you have your supply you can change that supply by depending upon your collection and your blockchain and speaking of blockchains over here you have two different blockchains so you have polygon and you have ethereum now both of these have different benefits so for polygon if you choose polygon you don't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever and if you're wondering what is a gas fee it's basically a, like a small fee that you have to pay when you upload a you know nft so that it has a better chance of getting you know listed if you are you know choosing polygon you don't have to pay that gas fee but you can't upload a collection and the market for polygon is sometimes in flux so it's a little bit unstable as of right now but previously it was pretty stable i don't know what's going on with it but for now i think it's pretty good and then we have ethereum now if you choose ethereum you will basically have to pay the gas fees twice but the benefit is that 
you have a bigger market and it is much more popular and selling your nft on ethereum blockchain network is going to be very very easy and you don't have to go through any hassle whatsoever now for the you know transactional fee which is like the gas fee you only have to pay it like twice and that's it you don't have to pay it all every time you you know create an nft you only have to pay it twice and that's it so for now i'm gonna go ahead and choose polygon and as you can see i can change the supply of it as well so just keep it at one for now and once you have everything settled everything looks in order just simply click on create and it will take you over to this pop-up right here and as you can see your nft has been created the great chick has been created and this is going to be your you know uh, listing page over here over here you can see the name the price history listing and stuff like that and once you have done that just simply click on sell and once you have done that this is how it is going to look like and over here just simply enter in the amount of cryptocurrency that you think is suitable for it so i'm going to go ahead and enter in 0 0.005 it's like 15 dollars so okay maybe like two yeah two is i think fine and then after that you have to pay like a 2.5 percent service fee but uh and then once you have done that just simply click on create a listing and once you've done that you have to unlock the currency and it'll send a transaction to your wallet to unlock the currency and as you can see right now it's completely free it's not asking me for any money whatsoever just simply click on sign no gas fee has been paid and the transaction has been unlocked the currency has been unlocked and now we just have to sign the transaction message for on our wallet click on sign and there we go we have now listed our nft and it is ready to be sold and there you can go this is the price the price history and everything is going to look over here you can see everything and check it out over here and you can cancel your listing anytime you want it's just how it is so that's how you basically use open seas to you know create account to you know create nfts or list nfts now if you're looking to buy nfts okay let's go over here onto all nfts all right if you want to buy it let's just say this one right here if we click on this nft all we have to do is click on buy now or make an offer and when we buy it okay it'll send a transaction to this person's wallet and we can add funds and if we have funds in our wallet we can go ahead and confirm the checkout and then we can buy this nft and it'll be you know transferred into our wallet and it's pretty simple it's really easy to do so that is how you basically you know use OpenSea's platform to create sell or buy nfts now before i end this video i did mention a little something about gas fees earlier and how you can find out your gas fees is by going over to this website called etherscan.io slash gas tracker you can just search for gas tracker on in the google network on your browser and you can you know forget this website now over here as you can see right now the gas fees are pretty normal they aren't really high and they aren't really low so as you can see over here right now the guay is 96 and you have to pay like 6.45 dollars or and wait 30 seconds for the confirmation transaction to occur now as you can see it's gone up again and you know priority is four that means that you have to pay more money to you know actually buy the way now this cash you don't have to do that but this is the main thing that i wanted to show you so you have to pay like 60 dollars on the high end to you know get your nft minted or if you are trying to you know sell it then you have to pay this much beforehand so that the transaction actually goes through now if you don't pay this then of course you can't mint your nft but that's why we chose the uh polygon network where you don't have to pay any gas fees so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye